down with censorship. The anti-counterfeit trade agreement known as ACTA, which Poland signed on Thursday, has upset many Internet users across the country. In the small town of Lublin alone, several thousand people hit the streets fearing the treaty would allow corporations to crack down on the freedom of speech online. The idea of punishing the site for publishing the, let's say, trademarked uh, material within it, it's somehow illogical to me. It's like, let's say, punishing the corporation that produces knives for uh, knives being used to kill somebody. ACTA will be used to monitor our internet activity. I believe that uh, talking through the internet, email, chatting, forums are a form of self-expression. This was yet another rally in a whole string of protests held in Poland since Tuesday. Large crowds in several cities voiced their anger at the government for signing the document. Most of the country's government websites were hijacked by the anonymous group. The hackers threatened to reveal sensitive information about the authorities should they go ahead with the act. There are certain countries which are very interested in ACTA. Uh, this is United States of America, this is Japan. The, and because they have a very strong businesses which rely on intellectual property laws and they want to enforce it all over the world. But this doesn't mean that this is good for the people. And um, this is why we, we have this protest in Poland, because people feel uh, oppressed by that. Essentially, ACTA is about protecting intellectual property, from music and books to pharmaceuticals and clothes. Similar in form to the stalled U.S. bills SOPA and PIPA that also sparked widespread protests. However, critics say ACTA was engineered in complete secrecy, bypassing government procedures and the criminal punishment it allows alerted many. Any legislation must be founded in the public opinion of what's right and wrong. When you have a copyright industry, that's talking about extraditing a person who has done nothing but linking to TV shows. Extradition, that's something you use for murderers and genociders. This is such an abuse of power that I think it's time is more than ripe for a serious review of what we want with copyright law. And it's certainly not calling our teenagers terrorists. Few doubt this will happen, given that Prime Minister Tusk's party holds a majority in the same. The government says the agreement is not a threat to freedom, but maintained the Internet should not be a space of legal anarchy. But protesters say they will bring even more people to Warsaw Central Square on Friday to stop it becoming law. In the space of just three days, protests in Poland have managed to gather tens of thousands of people. And while there is still little chance that this bill would not make it through Parliament, the rallies are unlikely to die down. Alexei Roszewski, RT, reporting from Poland.